Hello friends, how are you doing? I hope you are doing fine. Have you ever thought of creating a work week planner or a schedule and you want to create it very quickly or very easily and probably uh, take a print and fix on your desk? It is actually very common for people who want to look at their work in hand and uh, want to prepare a schedule and see when they are busy and doing what, right? It is a very helpful uh, way to get you more productive and uh, manage your time well as well, right? So if you're looking for something online, if you're looking for an online solution to create a work planner or a schedule, then this video is going to be for you. In this video, I'm going to show you an online planner where you can quickly add your tasks and uh, create a very good looking schedule which you can print or download and keep it on your desktop. So keep watching this video and I'm sure you will learn a lot about creating online schedule or work planners. Thanks for watching. Welcome back. So the online planner that I'm talking about in this video is the free online schedule maker. The link to this website is uh, schedulebuilder.org. They're also called SBO. You can see the logo here it says SBO which is nothing but schedulebuilder.org okay so this is how it looks like when it opens you can see that uh, it has some kind of description on how you can start building your schedules here okay so you can read it once you are there on the website they also have a video guide which you can watch uh, so that uh, the process becomes easier for you However, I'm going to demonstrate how this uh, online schedule maker works. So let's click on this uh, minus button. So it will remove the top instruction. Now you can see that uh, this is actually a free site where you can build your schedule, but they also have ads on them. You can see one ad here, one ad here, and one when you scroll down here. Okay. So you all know how you can disable this ads from viewing but uh, i don't think these are creating any problems to us uh, our schedule is here our settings are here so it is good to have or it's okay to have the ads showing up in between all right so let's move to the schedule this is how it looks it's actually a weekly schedule you can see from monday to friday and uh, it also has timelines from 8 a.m to 3 p.m now all this you can change you can also change the background image that you can see here you can change the colors of all these tasks as well so let's see how you can change the background image first so when you click on background here on the left bar you can uh, see there are two options one uh, it shows that uh, this is a background color and there you can choose the color which you want for your background the other thing is you can actually drop down from here and uh, search for a background image or use your own background image okay so let's choose a color for now we are going to remove the original image that was there on the schedule so we'll select the color and you can keep this color or change it to something else let's do let's do white or let's do a little bit of green okay or something like that We'll click on choose and then we'll go back okay so you can see all right so the color has not updated so we'll go back to background we have to see, click on save background settings then it will be saved then you can go back and this is how our schedule will look like you can click here and uh, add a title you can say the Indian freelancer week 08. Okay, suppose this is the eighth week of the year, so we'll uh, put the name like that. Okay, you can put whatever you want, whichever is relevant to you. Okay, then uh, then we'll add an activity. To add an activity, you can click on this button here, add activity. Then you can write the activity title. Let's write. Uh, meet sita okay so to meet sita on uh, wednesday 
the background color for this task will be uh, yellow okay and uh, then the starting time starting hour would be maybe 12 pm and the ending hour would be 3.30 okay so we will use the drop down from here and we will select 3.30 then we will write description we will write uh, lunch and work okay and uh, we can probably change the color of this description as well we will keep it dark red okay and then click on choose okay and here you can choose the color of the title as well let's keep it black as it is and click on add activity now here you can see that uh, they have given a pop-up saying your first activity has been added you can drag it around to change its time and day or click on it if you to make any other changes okay so just scroll up so you can see that uh, this is the activity that was added okay now as per the pop-up you can actually drag it to some other day okay so just like uh, you can drag it like this it will be 9 58 am to 1 58 pm now this is the second one second pop-up that has come up saying uh, click on this button to show your schedule in text on this format we'll see what it is later on okay now this is how you can drag uh, if you want to change you can also come here and click on undo and it will set it back to the place so this is the background color that we have chosen and you can see the uh, description color as well and the title of the task as well okay now let's uh, click on apply and uh, then go back so in applied we to change to the previous one so we'll do an undo again okay then we go to add activity once more let's add one more activity just to check so we'll say uh, launch new website okay this will change the color to red and uh, we'll keep the background color as it is and then we'll change the time from 8 am to maybe 8 5 or 8 15 so 15 minutes task and it's going to be on friday okay then uh, we'll just uh, we'll just keep the description as blank and we'll click on add activity you can see it's showing up here but since the time is very less it is uh, showing in a small uh, row so just to drag it out okay we'll do that we'll just drag it and maybe increase the time a little bit so it shows up here all right so they're asking us to click on this button if we click on this button we'll see all the tasks listed in a list format in a text format okay so just 81 to 833 it was just listed it will not show in a grid now it says click again to go back to the graphical format so if i click again on this it will go back to the graphical format now here on the top you have uh, these four buttons use any of the highlighted buttons when you want to download or print your schedule okay so let's see what these buttons are we'll click outside the first one is for image so this schedule will be downloaded as an image the next one is for pdf it will be downloaded as a pdf if you want to save it or take a print you can also export and import previously um, saved schedules and you can directly print from here as well okay so these are the four options that they have here all right so let's click on apply and click on go back now if you are signed in or registered to this website you can actually see your saved schedules as well okay let's go to the settings tab and see what are the settings that you can change now this is very important because if you want to have a seven day week you can have that as well you can start on sunday and end on saturday as well okay you can extend your working time from maybe 7 am till uh, 7 pm okay then you can choose between not to display your de uh, date or you can display your date then uh, here right now we are not displaying the dates 
you can choose to declare date as well then uh, since the start date you have to select the start date from here let's select february 17 okay then this is the time format you can choose between 12, 24 hours clock or 12 hours clock and uh, time marks again you can display the time marks inside the activity or you can display it on the corners like they are right now so let's have it uh, in the corners itself okay let's uh, do it in the inside activities and see how it looks then auto sizes don't resize schedule to fix text and you can resize schedule to fix fit text content okay so this we cannot uh, change we should not change because uh, the time will change if the content is more then it says uh, title show title or high title will obviously show the title title is this then let's click on save settings now you can see the time is showing inside the activity that's why it's not visible here and the starting day is sunday and the ending day is saturday you have seven days work week and we have an extended working time as well okay so these are the settings that you can change from here so if we go back and uh, click on reset it asks you for a confirmation you say okay reset and it resets your schedule back to the five day week with the title uh, in place and everything as we started okay so this is the online schedule maker i'm sure this is going to be of uh, much help to the person who wants to build a schedule and uh, keep it in front of him to keep track on all the tasks that he has for the entire week or that day okay so let me know how you like this video let me know if you are going to use this uh, online schedule maker or not and if you use please share your uh, schedules as well you can actually create a schedule you can create a dummy schedule take out the image from the uh, website and actually post on my facebook group the link to the group and the facebook page are actually given in the description if you want to join please go ahead and join the discussion we talk about a lot of things on facebook as well so that's all I have in this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave in the comment section and I'll be trying to answer all your questions. Okay. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for being here with me. Please share this video with your friends and family and I'm sure there are a lot of people who will be very eager to know about all this information. If this is the first time that you have come to this channel or if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you never miss any video. Thanks again for being with me. Thanks again for watching this video. This is Jan signing off from the Indian Freelancer. Take care. Bye-bye.